Oh, baby, we got basement. You know, that, that's one of the things about, like, you know, doing, like, a map series like this, and you go over and you really explore, like, maps and stuff like that. You sometimes stumble upon something that you feel is absolutely incredible, and yet no one's ever seemed to have played. Well, people played this because, you know, people actually bought Half-Life 2 on PS2. Half-Life 2! It's not Half-Life 2, it's Half-Life on PS2. But yeah, Basement, this is one of the best Half-Life maps I've ever played. It is absolutely freaking insane. Maximum shenanigans, great design. Uh, got snarks in a super enclosed area with like, you know, a ton of explosive weapons, shotguns, you know, verticality. It just really, I, I wish I knew like the exact person that made this map because this in this and the next map I'm going to do waypoint are as far as I'm aware, the only two like deathmatch maps in half-life PS2 to be wholly unique and not basically either off a of single player maps or like, you know, stuff like that. I could be wrong in that regard. Holy shit, though, this is a good map. I'm just going to let the video and, like, the map itself speak for it. All right, so, yeah, as you can see, this is really small. But, you know, right away, that's what I mean. There's layers. So you got the you got the ground floor, obviously, which is where a lot of fighting is going to be. But then you also got, like, you know, the upper grounds, the boxes, and then you got the pillars here. And you even got, like, walls there, too. This is a lot more complicated in terms of the movement you'll be making compared to some of the other... Uh, head-to-head -head maps on the PS2 version. So anyway, if you're on this side, grab the shotgun. You can't break any of the boxes, which is a good thing because it would break the map because then, like, you'd lose, you know, movement options and, like, places to go. So if you come around here, as you can see, yeah, it's really tight. Get a revolver, which, despite this being a small map, this is actually a great choice if you got good aim. You can get up to one of the upper layers from here, and there's a ladder there, too, if you so choose. Grab some ammo here. You can go this way. Um, and it was snuck in here is the SMG. I actually can't remember because I just recently discovered this. Another revolver, by the way. See, that's what I mean. It just gets nuts really fast. Um, I can't remember if there's any AR grenades in this map, though. But there might be. We'll have to see as I play it a little bit more after. Uh, not too many weapons on this side. Um, this is a yet another instance of someone using the unused in the ga vanilla ha Valve game proper... The, uh, gigantic, um, what's the word I'm looking for? The big, um, 9mm pickup that you, like, you know, fully coded, but Valve themselves never used in any map. It was in one of the, uh, Opposing Force Deathmatch maps, and it's also technically here, but remember, this is Gearbox again. So, you know, it's still not Valve, but it's interesting to see that that didn't go to waste. Definitely pick that up. Another shotgun in this side, unless, if, assuming I'm not on the wrong side, I'm not good. You grab there, grab some health there if you happen to see that. Come this way, grab that pickup there. It is again, perfect bingo. You can see, get into the middle, like, you know, through the other, like, the sides here by, like, ducking up and jumping here. That's really cool. I like that. This really reminds me of GoldenEye, and I can't quite place my finger on why. Even, GoldenEye is overrated, but I said, like, we're not going to talk about that. Anyway, so the interesting thing here is that you actually, I don't think, even at, like, full speed, I don't think you can actually get up to the, uh... Fuck you, Mario! Get the hell out of the way! You can't actually get onto the pillar through from the ladder, but you can jump on this light here, and that's important. Because that's how you can get over to... I swear you can make that jump. I swear I made that last time. You get ab... The other side with the snarks on it, you can totally make. But I swear, I did like a sick MLG jump here, and I made it over. Oh, shit! Okay, now maybe I'm misremembering. Yeah, probably. It was pretty late at night, and I was tired. So yeah, anyway, yeah, you can't get up that way. You can't get on top of that pillar if you so choose, though. And as you can see, this is kind of like the next layer of the map. You gotta be careful, though, because this light's a little bit annoying. Only crappy thing about this map. You can get on these pillars here to grab some med kits and stuff like that. Uh, I don't believe you can get onto these ledges here. You might be able to. Well, you can get onto them from that side, but you can't jump from there. So don't try it. You can also get onto them from here, though doing some sick jumps. The snarks are here. The snarks are on a box. Never mind. It's the grenades I'm thinking of, which, you, as you can tell, from raining death down from above is a great feeling. That's how you can get the snarks right there. You gotta jump down. You can also grab them by jumping over there, though, so that works out just fine. Uh, you can also get up to, from the, to this upper area from this little revolver here. Really handy. Obviously, you gotta be careful when you're doing that, because unlike what's happening here, everyone's gonna be shooting at you. So, you know, this is just what I mean. You, you're gonna be like, you know, constant just fight action at all times with this map, and it's great. But that really is it. Like I said, you can't get up there. 
But they're like, you know, imagine in two-player mode, one player up on there and one down here. And like, you know, that's insane enough as it is, just like, you know, split screen. But with eight people here, it's an absolute just maniac. Just the Cuban Missile Crisis times 50. It's absolutely insane and I love it. And I wish it would punch me in the gut in a very sensual way. Man, I've been listening to the Cell Dweller album called Cell Dweller, his first one there. Like so many times the last couple days. That has no bearings on anything. I just really like that album. Oh man, the shotguns especially, if you can't tell. Shotgun action here is like just insane. I mean, even without the AR grenades, actually I don't think there are because I would make this like, you know, as much as I like high stick shenanigans in my Half-Life Deathmatch, that might make things just a little too complicated. Hello! See, well, that's what I mean. You just go around the corner and you just get your like, you know, your birthday presents unwrapped. It's just great. I love it. And you also corner people. It's just the shenan- the mischief is just incredible. Oh, I just sent the Toho there flying a mile. Man, I haven't even- I completely forgot- See, you get into such a phase of, like, you know, frenzy with this map. Because of how fun it is that you actually forget that the top part even exists. Like, there's a whole realm of possibilities up there, but you're just- You're, you're just getting into the zone, just blasting the fuck out of everyone. That doesn't even matter anymore. Better put that one bullet in there. Yeah, there you go. You can't hide! You can't hide! So hold on, let me reload. Don't whack me, bitch! Oh! 